Hi, you are here with testing your IQ. And we are going to be asking people unanswerable questions that will blow your mind. So, we have here Mike and Arturo who are going to be interviewing random people on IQ. And do you really think that they can really answer these questions that we have for them? Hi, you are here with Test Your IQ and we have... Mondo. Mondo. Wow. So, let's get into this, right? So, why does a pizza come round but fit in a square box? Bro, no idea about that one. That, that is an interesting question right there. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am Mike with Testing Your IQ and I have... Jeff Conway. All right, Jeff. So I got a couple of questions. So the first one is, if you pamper a cow, do you get spoiled milk? Ah! How do you get spoiled milk? I feel like if they're being pampered, maybe you'll get skim milk instead. Or they feel really loved, so they get whole milk. They just feel like their whole body is... That's a good one. Okay. Here we go, guys. We're going to continue it off. And my guest now is... Mizzy. What's up, Mizzy? Ready for this? If I'm not, I'm going to be ready. <laughs> All right, let's go. Question, the uh, first question. Okay. If you dig through the center of the earth and come out the other side, then let go, would you fall down or float up? Oh, hell no. You said fall, right? Because think about it. You're going through the center of the earth, so you're gonna, we're, we're digging downward, right? But if we go through the center all the way to the other side, like, what happened? The law of gravity gonna make me stay wherever I'm at. But what if, like I said, we go all the way to the side. Now we're going downward. Now we come up. We're going up to the ground. So we're gonna go up to the ground, but we're not gonna fall like in the sky or anything. We'll just be there. Because the Earth is round. <laughs> we are back with testing your IQ, and I am here with TK. And I am here with Sean Holiday. Checks on. And you are JT is like. Okay, y'all, so we're going to get into it. Here's y'all first question. If the Wicked Witch of the West melts in water, how does she bathe? What do you mean? She, she, she can't bathe. She melts, right? <laughs> how does she bathe? When she go down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> how do you think she bathed around all the monkeys and the lions and tigers and bears? Oh, my. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. You said she bathed and she melts in the water. How does she bathe? How does she bathe? That's a good question. That's a, that's a real good question. She I had. Think she, I think, she think she might have the same old clothes on? Never changed the drop? Bruh. We ain't gonna answer that. Okay, okay. And to continue our segment off, I have a special guest here. Devontae. Hey, over here. Stone Pony, how you yes. doing, bud? Thanks for coming. I mean, you know I would not miss this. I appreciate it, bud. Appreciate it. All right, let's just jump right into it, all right? China. I'm sorry. This is not I'm always doing Donald Trump, but go ahead. Oh, man, you're making me lose focus over here. No collusion. All right. No quick pro quo. Anyway, yes, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. All right. You should know what you're doing. I, at this point, I do. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know how it signs a restaurant, there's doors that say no shirt, no shoes, no service? Mm -hmm. So what if someone goes in with no pants? What happens? That means that uh, you get serviced. Hey. Get serviced, okay. I know I would. <laughs> hey, forget about it. Anyway. Another one. Why do we drive down the parkway and park in the driveway? Because we can. I have no idea. <laughs> the street. The street system. Is there, is there a real answer to that? I have no idea. If yeah. there is, we're going to find out. Why is it that an alarm clock is going off when it's really coming on? Okay, yeah, that's a, that's another good one. <laughs> like ring, ring, ding, yeah, ding. Yeah, it's not going off. It's, it is coming on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> some people just... Yeah. Back to testing your knowledge. We're here to test some more knowledge and IQs with... Uh, Shy Blizz. And... So you don't let it count. Right, guys. Let's just jump into this, guys. Sorry for these questions, but we'll 
I gotta know. Okay. First question: Can you read a picture book? No, you can't read a picture book. What? You can because it's still a book. I, I would say yeah. You say yeah. We'll go with that. <laughs> See another one. If the FBI breaks down your door, do they have to pay for it? I'm actually pretty sure. Technically, no, they don't. I, might be wrong. I don't know. Government does what it wants. <laughs> <laughs> so why do Sally sells she sells on the seashore when you could just pick them up? Because Sally obviously came up with a great business plan and learned how to market the seashells out there. If I can make money off seashells, hey, well, uh, uh, hey why not, <laughs> you know? So just walk around, and pick up things, and uh, sell them, people. <laughs> Good motto. <laughs> can you be a closet claustrophobic? Yes. Like one of those really random people in the crowd trying to be in the crowd, but doing like one of these, like through the crowd, like I don't, I don't like. Well, most people, if they claustrophobic, they're gonna avoid crowds, so. But can there be a closet claustrophobic? You can say that three times real fast. I doubt it. Next question. <laughs> Next question, you all. If nobody buys a ticket to a movie, do they still show it? Yeah. You just ain't got a ticket. I mean, they gonna still show the movie. They ain't gonna make no money, but they still gonna show that It's a lot of times I ain't have a ticket to still saw the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I'm <laughs> He went through the back door. <laughs> okay. Why do you put two cents in when it's only a penny for your thoughts? That's way too high end. <laughs> Them technical questions. I need a coffee before I get that question. Right, that's way above our pay grade. <laughs> All right, if you have a cold hot pocket, is it just a pocket? If you have a cold hot pocket, is it just a pocket? No. If it's a cold hot pocket, it's just a a non hot pocket. That's, well, it's not hot yet, right? No. So it would be a cold pocket, or you could call it just a pocket. That's what I'm asking. I think you're right. We're gonna call it a pocket. It's okay. a pocket. It's a pocket. But let it be known, I like hot pockets, not cold pockets. No code collusion. Anyway, go ahead. Hot pockets. Okay, why are both SpongeBob parents round like sea sponge while he's a square like a kitchen sponge? He is square like a kitchen sponge. And I didn't even know his parents. I've never seen SpongeBob parents before. Yeah, they're round. Wow. They're round like a worn out bath scrubbing pad. I guess SpongeBob would be a birth defect or something like that. He's, he might have been adopted. So, you know what I'm saying, Spongebob might want to look into that. You know what I'm saying, straight up. Can you cry underwater? <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you seen it? Oh, no. I, just, I always cry above surface. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Does dolphins cry? Um, I've never asked them, so I don't know. <laughs> Where do all the daylight saving hours go? They get deposited in a bank somewhere, and then somebody gets the cash out on it. Huh? <laughs> right? I don't. Guys, we just had daylight savings. I wonder what happened to it. <laughs> what happens if every NFL team goes 8-8? Eight and eight? <laughs> uh, <laughs> If every NFL to every AFC and NFC, if every. All of them. Went 8-8, eight and eight, it would be a draw. Well, how the playoffs go? There wouldn't be playoffs. It would be a draw. But there have to be playoffs. The show must go on. We in show business. Playoffs are for winners. If everybody's got the same, if everybody's got the same record, who won? They would probably do a a, 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 a a schedule strength type thing, like who had the hardest oh, schedule or something. Uh, I like sudden death. That would happen. Yeah. It, that's not. That's basically the commissioner's problem. Basically, if it ever happens. Real question: What's the difference between a novel and a book? There probably is like a real definition of this, and I have actually, I should have an idea, but I just have really no idea. <laughs> well, I think a novel is more of a story, and a book is a story. Too sure. Yeah, I can see it. Hey, y'all. Uh, so, if there was a weird wheelchair bound comedian, is it still called a stand up? Standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> How about a lady? I, I say, 
Call him a sit down laugh or something. I don't. Yeah, that is crazy though. Don't disrespect that man like that. <laughs> Call it cat daddy just with the one arm. Be like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> he can't be no stand up comedian. That's disrespectful, man. Lucas said stand up. Yeah, he did. And Fat Joe said lean back, so I understand. <laughs> this one kind of hit me hard. Okay, so why does Sea uh, Sea World have seafood restaurants? Oh hell no! Like, think about it. Flounder and eating. Like, you over here watching all these orcas and seals and, like, all these little Nemo-looking fish out there, and then you eating a salmon, a shrimp, a cocktail. It's... Maybe because we're eating what the the, the the whales and the sharks are eating. We're eating, we're eating, we're eating the ones that got that are dead and sick and stuff. Oh, my gosh. At least, hopefully, they are healthy. I will hope, but did you really think about that? Like, you go in there and there is a seafood restaurant, and next thing you know, you have a tank next to your, to your table. Wow. We're kind of messed up people, guys. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. How come people say they ate the last piece of gum when they really just chewed it? How come people say they ate the last piece of gum when they really just chew it? See? No you guys are just hurting my head. The confusion is real. <laughs> if you're on an American airline and you go and land in Canada and you stay on the plane, is the drinking age still 21 or are we going down to 19 at that point? When I'm on the plane, I'm drinking regardless. Like, no matter what my age is. Yeah. Drink responsibly. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, that would depend on the airline. If the airline, it, the airlines, uh, well, if American Airlines say 21, I'm drinking. If if Canada say something different, I'm staying on the plane because I'm 21 and I'm drinking. <laughs> All right, we'll go with that. Does two humps on a camel store more fat than one a hump camel? I would say so. You got a whole extra hump right there. So, but is the hump is the hump used for storing fat? I have no idea, but he didn't know I said Campbell instead of Cam-mo. <laughs> oh, right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> Who's Campbell? <laughs> Nobody! <laughs> I just pronounced it wrong. All right, so you know when someone says throw your hands in the air like you just don't care? Throw your hands in the air. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the mother... Bird. Bird! I'm sorry. Okay, no, I, was, I, I was with you. I was with you. I was with you. We need to go out tonight. Here we go. All right. So the question is, though, why bother doing that if you care? If you don't care? That's true. If you don't care. That's what I'm saying, right? Like, like you throw your hands in here. Like, like, you don't care, but we put it up there like we really care. You're right. People just do crazy shit. It's cool. It's that's cool. what it's all about. Why does the Easter Bunny carry eggs for regular rabbits? Don't like me. Uh, for the same reason Santa Claus wears red and white and drives a, 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 a sleigh. It's just, it's just the mystery, huh? It's just, it's just something kids like. Kids like chocolate, kids like bunnies, put them together, magic. Yeah, yeah what well, he said. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. If mirrors need light work, what happens if you put night vision goggles on in the dark and look at the mirror? The last question. That was oh, of course, of course. That was thought provoking. So, eggs are also an Easter thing, right? Like, even if they're not chocolate, right? Yeah. That's what we're saying. It's it's, it's Easter time, you know. They lay eggs and but carry. To do with eggs, but for some reason, kids associate eggs with Easter. Money. You tell me why. No, I, I have the microphone. That's not how it works. So what? So why just not have chickens on Easter instead of bunnies? I like chicken. I like chicken too. Popeyes all the way, personally. But anyways, that's a good question. But maybe did you want to chase a chicken around the like a yard or a bunny? Yeah, yeah, I see. How you that 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 uh, I don't know. I don't that know. Yeah. Confused and we sound like we. Well, we're gonna wrap it up. But thanks for your time, guys. Oh, we do. We had one more, but you guys try to take over the interview. One more. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, where was I exactly? If marbles are not made of marble, why are they called marbles? Um, I want to know why you're saying it like that, marbles. To ex 
put the emphasis on what I'm trying to say, a marble and marbles. Like a marble ground, like countertop and little marbles. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a marble. Marble. Guys, get off my back. I, I'm not on question. You're on question. Hey, I'm just saying, if you didn't want the job, you shouldn't have took the job. Know, right? but I love the job. I mean, you should work on your customer yeah, service. You, you know can't what I'm handle the truth. Huh? You know? Oh. Okay, if marbles are not made of marble, I did it again. Why are they called marbles? Now that part, the world may never know. Like a titty roll, titty pop. The color of the inside of the marbles look like marble, so that's what I'm going with. <laughs> well, best marbles always have that swiggly like, mm -hmm. color on the inside of it. You know what I mean? That look like marble tops. Marble tops never really. It's marble. Have you ever threw a handful of marbles at somebody? Marbles are just colored glass. They are, but they colored are. glass. The There's nothing glass marble, marble about it. Drop glass it drinks, but have you ever seen a broken marble? Nope. Aha! Should have done this one on one. <laughs> Thanks for the time, guys. Thanks, Cortez. Thanks. Peace out. Bye. Later, guys. Take care. That's all, folks.